The recipient this year is universally known as a, a very wonderful and kind human being. He has the unique ability to make you feel like you're the single most important person to him in the world the instant he's talking to you. He is one of the most warm, caring, genuine people I've, I've ever met. Yeah, all you got to do is, uh, is say we got something for the kook and he says, how can I help? What can I do? He cares very deeply about people and as a result that care and affection is, is reflected in the people who work for him. If there's a job to be done, he's the go-to guy. The Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award is the premier honor granted by the Washington State University Foundation. It recognizes those whose service is measured by the highest levels of achievement. And to be named uh, on the same award uh, with Hoot is a tremendous honor. It signifies the best that there is in being a cougar. He was born in the state of Kansas. Growing up on a farm, he learned early the value of hard work while keeping his fun-loving nature. He made his way to the Palouse in the early 1960s and enrolled at Washington State University. We had a, a foods and nutrition lab uh, as young hotel management students. We had to make a vinaigrette dressing one day and we came down to one ingredient that said FG cayenne. And neither of us knew what FG meant, so we put about a teaspoon of cayenne in this very small amount of vinaigrette dressing. And when Professor McLeod came to taste it, she tasted it and her eyes literally teared up. <laughs> he was president of his fraternity, Sigma Chi. He was my big brother in the fraternity. Uh, he taught me a lot of leadership lessons, a uh, very serious side to him, very dedicated to uh, his career and his major, if you will, at that point in time. My boyfriend, Mike, was home that first semester uh, in the fall because um, his father was ill and he had to be home. Well, the, the sorority had a big dance in December, our wonderful Christmas dance. Mike said there were several of his fraternity brothers that he would absolutely not recommend. I suggested that maybe um, that she invite Larry if Larry would be willing to escort her because he was the only one I could trust in the fraternity. And Larry kindly accepted the invitation. Loyal and trusting. I always had deep respect for Larry. And so uh, of all of my fraternity brothers, he was it. Larry Culver graduated in 1964 with a bachelor's degree in hotel and restaurant administration. For the next 18 years, he developed and managed independent hotels in the Midwest and the South. Larry also started a family during this time. My dad um, is an amazing man. He always been there for all of us girls, um, for our family. Kimbrough followed in her dad's footsteps and chose WSU. Growing up, it was always really important to have some kind of community service, some kind of um, volunteering of our time. Like Habitat for Humanity, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. You know, when I was in high school, I worked for my dad. And you know, the pride in that, that sometimes it's difficult to be a child working for your parent. And for me, it never was because everybody loved him as much as I did. Well, maybe I loved him a little bit more. In 1982, Larry founded In Ventures, which became the first franchisee of residents in properties. Larry recognized that since there was a kind of a void in, in the distribution of these places in the Northwest, and it turned out to be very successful. And I'm sure if, if you'd look inside his hotels and his management team, you'd find uh, many creative ideas that were uniquely Larry. Larry received several honors for his innovative leadership, including Inn of the Year and Hotel Year of the Year awards, plus Marriott International's highest honor, the Partnership Circle Award. He has a knack of putting together people and places and things to create the most memorable experiences. And he lives and breathes hospitality, and I love that. 
At Adventures, we had um, a lot of theme events, and uh, people just got so into it. Including Larry, who led the way. He is a promoter of Cougar Athletics, of Cougar Spirit, of Cougar Pride. And he's brought his family into the fold with the same energy and enthusiasm. Larry and Vicki married in 1989, blending their two families. He is all about family. He is very adventurous, um, has a passion for lots of things, and includes everyone in that passion. Larry is a very caring, giving person, but that little mischievous guy kind of sneaks up on you every once in a while. To watch him um, interact with Nate, it's, it's beautiful. It's actually one of the great joys in my life is to watch my dad with my son. Everyone loves Grandpa. Who, I mean, who couldn't? His annual Grandpa Camp is a huge hit with the five grandkids. He goes out of his way to make sure that he spends as much time with those kids as he can, and they all adore him. This same passion for business and family shines through in Larry's philanthropy at Washington State University. After 15, 16 years, we uh, both began to uh, find our sea legs in our business and, and know how important it was to give back to, to our alma mater. There's scarcely a segment of WSU that has not been touched by Larry Culver. He's certainly been an incredible part of the WSU Foundation and its growth since the late 70s and the early 80s. Larry has served as the chair of our campaign steering committee. Uh, he's been on a number of search committees for key faculty members that we needed to hire. He's also served in a number of board roles, our National Board of Advisors and our School of Hospitality Business Management Board of Advisors. Larry Culver bleeds crimson in many different ways. We started the Cougar Yacht Club uh, in 1996. We entered a competition, which they called the Spirit Trophy. Well, we won that thing five years in a row. They wouldn't give it to us anymore because we won it every year. And uh, Larry was just tickled pink to be a part of that process. Pretty bold right there on the Husky cut <laughs> to have Cougar Yacht Club going by. But uh, we all as a family would uh, put on our uniforms, our white sailor pants and our wazoo sweatshirts and our sailor hats and we'd go by those, that Commodore. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun in the Huskies' backyard. <laughs> His name was on our student computer lab. Uh, when I first arrived on campus, he um, had funded uh, a lab of 20 or 25 machines, um, hardware, software, all kinds of things for our students. Larry also opened the door to the Marriott Foundation, which provided funding for an area close to his heart. The School of Hospitality Business Management was able to build a brand new state-of-the-art dining center and kitchen for our culinary students. He was critical in coordinating the remodel of the facility to make it truly world-class. In 2011, I recognized Larry and Vicki with the Dean's Leadership Award, and that's the highest honor that's given by the College of Business at Washington State University. Most recently, he uh, and Vicki have funded a position in our department. It's called the Culver Hospitality Relations Manager. Larry's been a member of the Cougar family for over 50 years, but most significant during those 50 years has been his volunteer leadership under three presidents, President Sam Smith, President Lane Rollins, and President Elson Floyd. Larry is a consummate Coug. He's always there when we need something, and he's always there to initiate conversation and discussion, whether it's the chair of the Board of Governors or whether it is hosting a dinner in the San Juans or in the desert. He's always there. Larry's the one with the vision. Larry's the one with the drive. He's the one that sees the future for what it can be and then leads all of those around him to realizing that vision. Larry Hoot would be extremely proud of you. Hi Grandpa, we are so proud of you. Thank you for guiding us in the right direction. Thank you for all of your support. You are a hero. Thank you Grandpa. We love you. Go Grandpa! 
please join the Washington State University Foundation in congratulating the 2013 Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer, Larry Culver.